Our shave today on Menthol Monday is going to be a mentholated soap from Paladin Shaving called Crossroads. And in the fine print there it says tobacco leaf, sandalwood, and menthol. Those are the main notes on this one. I love this. I mean, it's so sturdy. <clears throat> this is a heavy glass jar. Very thick. And uh, slight off-white. Kind of pearlized, uh, creamy color, and it's a, a medium dense uh, crope. Just screws on so solidly. The labels are so nice, well done, um, waterproof, and all that. Um, discontinued now. I think they decided to quit making soap. Um, this is a uh, golden nib. Um, Grade A silver tip badger uh, brush from the Golden Nib, and the handle is from Mozingo. 24 millimeter, I think, and I'm working with it, seeing if I want to keep it. A quarter teaspoon of the soap has been pressed into the bottom of my Dollar Tree soup bowl. The razor for today is my uh, UK version. Um, Gillette Aristocrat, and uh, this is the number 16. You can tell because of the uh, the solid end there. The uh, the gap right here is not all filled in. It's a stepped gap right there. The base plate. Let's see if I can tilt it the right way. Make sure I don't cut myself. The base plate is flat. If the base plate was kind of in the bevel of a, a diamond, then it would be the 66. And uh, and there we go. And then also, you don't see any rivets right here. You see end caps. And uh, if it had rivets, it would be either the 15 or the 21. All right. So that's what this is. And we've already got the blade in there, which is a 7 o'clock Super Platinum Black Black label, black envelope, silver clock, silver platinum. First use of this blade. I have used this uh, uh, kind of blade before with good results, generally speaking. And I think we're going to hit the Old Spice as the aftershave. I think we're ready to go. Get my face wet. That is pretty uh, standard and pretty simple for my pre-shave routine. I wet my face twice before the shave, once just now before I start my lather, and second after the lather's done right before I start my shave. I didn't know this was a menthol soap when I bought it, um, but I have kept it around and I'm glad because now I can use it on the lather games here on Menthol Monday. This badger brush has been soaking for a few minutes. It is optional to soak your badger brushes. Some guys out there will chastise you for soaking your badger brushes. But uh, for me... I have tried both and just usually seems to work a little nicer for me. Boards are the ones you have to soak. Matter of fact, only today was the first time after a whole bunch of research and experience online with more brushes the first time I ever heard of somebody saying that it was optional to soak pre-soak a bore brush never heard that before can't imagine doing that menthol is really the uh, first scent that jumps out it uh, the tobacco and Sandalwood, just I don't even, I almost don't even smell them. I've shaved with this soap once before. It performs really well. I really like it, except of the 
except for the menthol. Now, um, I also haven't really tried menthol during the summer months or during a hot season uh, if you're in a hot location. And I'm in one right now. A little, warm, a little bit more warm than I usually am. And so I think it'll be very interesting to see if all of a sudden I can see a whole lot of merit with menthol. Now we have two uh, teaspoons of water in the lather. syringe here. This is just a medicine syringe gotten from you know kids Walmart medicine or whatever. Just helps me to add water at a predictable rate. Be able to count it for next time. So if I especially if I overwater I can back off a little bit and not kill my lather. As you can see, we have got a good bit of lather generated. It's still a little bit on the rigid side, which is why we will keep adding a little bit of water. So now we've got three teaspoons in it. Yesterday for the lather games was um, I used a timeless razor, a cue ball blade it's by Persona, made in the Israel plant. I got it from tryablade.com. Um, and they performed really well. And the soap, darn it. remember what it was. Ah, Dapper Dragon. It was uh, Domingo, Dapper Domingo Day or something, you know, was the acronym or keyword. And I had Scylla on hand. Don't really smell too much other than the menthol. If you look at the shape of the suds there, you see how jaggedy and pointy that's um, on many soaps. That is a signal that they need a little bit more water. Um, especially if you're a person who likes to make them really slick um, for straight razor shaving. I did not video the... Uh, Dapper Dragon Day, the only one I haven't videoed so far. Because I was shaving, um, kind of with family around me and stuff. Wow, is this going to take the whole four teaspoons. I think I'll go ahead and stop after this. Lots of soap. I went ahead and used a full quarter teaspoon. Couldn't remember exactly how much the uh, Paladin soaps needed. Um, there we go. Let's look at the peaks that we have. It still looks kind of firm, but I want to go ahead and shave with it. Look at that. There, it's not quite homogenized yet. See, there's some floppy type uh, portions to it, 
and some kind of rigid portions. So let's just shave with what we have, roll with it. It's a good soap. Now, uh, another rinse. This brush, and I can feel the menthol in my eyes, this brush is on the scrubby side. It's a silver tip, grade A. Maybe a little too scrubby for me, the kind of a wiriness to it. Tips are soft enough, but... scrubbing since I don't do a pre-shave. I need to clean the dirt and stuff away from those hair hair roots and all that. I think I dialed in the water pretty well. It doesn't seem too thick so that's good. So the blade is the seven o'clock super platinum black black all right one of the neat things about these aristocrats from the uk is they're a little bit more efficient a little bit better cutters than our american versions Sometimes they adjusted the geometry, it seems, to where they're more efficient cutters while kind of maintaining the same comfort level as our American ones. good deal of safety and predictability I feel with this razor so far this is a good pairing of razor and blade there we go a little half rinse end up with plenty of lather so it looks like uh, Paladin is not one of those soaps that needs the whole quarter teaspoon feeling that cooling effect right now on my skin If this was the only badger brush that I had access to, it would be fine. It's a good brush. But I just, um, there are other options. Um, my whipped dog, uh, Silver Tip, is, um, uh, it's not as wiry, it's not uh, as scrubby, and uh, the tips are just like a cloud like puppy dogs and clouds yet it's got enough backbone to whip up lather on any soap um, any at all a stronger cooling sensation now that I've uh, put the soap on once rinsed it off then put it on again 
a little bit of blade feel now. But it's very minimal. Um, uh, it's very comfortable. Yeah, I'm still feeling some of the menthol in my eyes sometimes. But I am in kind of a warm room right now and it's kind of welcome in a sense. Cross grain pattern is kind of what I do on my neck for all three passes. Since my neck hairs grow sideways. And there we go for pass number two. Half rinse. Nice slickness from this. Really good soap. So it looks like for a quarter of a teaspoon of soap that four teaspoons is the you know right amount of water for the lather that I prefer. You may want yours a little thicker, and so you can do some math. Maybe only put three and a half or three uh, teaspoons of water with yours. It's also why I shake out my brush before I start loading so that the, um, the lather baseline is a little bit more objective. Of course, once you get dialed in, I would recommend that you, um, uh, you take your brush out of the water and then just kind of shake off some and, and get a measured amount uh, in, in uh, like do two shakes and see how it feels. Um, if that's too much water, then next time do three shakes and you can see the water drip out and then eventually you'll land on that magical number of, of shakes or, or swishes or whatever. And then you won't have to measure any amount of uh, water with a syringe or anything like that. Feels good, looks good, and yes, the menthol effect is amplified. Even more than pass number two. Um, so it's it's a good cutter here. The geometry they've set for this razor head um, but it's not so good it's not so aggressive that going over the same area three times you know gets you razor burn I'm also maintaining a small footprint on the handle here I'm not going for leverage I'm not trying to reach down here and touch down here because I want the razor to move over my skin lightly um, so that I don't end up digging into the skin at all. Mm. Cooling, cooling. And like, like I said, I don't smell anything but menthol. Maybe a little bit of tobacco. Maybe. All right. Uh, so let's take a look at the neck. I'm just going to leave it like that. That's a good shave. This is a good combination. Um, it's a comfortable combination, but you have to wait till the end to see if it's an effective combination. And it's very good. Um, above average for me. Um, so the, the black label seven o'clock super platinums are very good in my 16 uh, vintage aristocrat from Gillette. Um, so very happy, very happy with that. I'm not going to do any more of my usual touch up kind of stuff. I'm just going to rinse and there we go. 
Uh, so great shave, really. Um, the, what was going on was the comfort was there. Uh, but then after just three passes, the result was there at the same time. Um, and so the geometry of these of this particular razor is just uh, exceptional. And I reckon that's why, in addition to it's just in beauty in general, why it's a sought after piece. All right, well, after three passes, I told you I'd have a plenty of lather. And I do. Uh, maybe three more passes right there. Um, so yeah, I could probably use a, take that quarter teaspoon measure that I have and maybe just use about three quarters of it instead of the, uh, the full amount. And that'll probably give me the amount of, uh, lather I, I really want. So there we go. Terrific. It's a good looking, good looking lather with lots of elasticity. And uh, that's, a, that's really, a, there are a lot of other lathers that are not that good. Uh, soaps. All right. I'm going to clean up. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Let's see what happens when you take a mentholated face and add some of this to it. I don't know. I usually don't go with the uh, alcohol type uh, splashes. Most of the time I use balms and stuff. A little bit of stinging. Not too bad. There we go. Let's see what happens with the uh, whole feel and the scent and stuff. See if the Old Spice just uh, takes care of the menthol or what. We'll see. I still have a cooling feeling, so the feeling is there. That's cool. Alright, I'm going to clean up. I'll be back with you. So now that I've cleaned up the brush, dried it out, you know, dropped it kind of on the towel a few times, you can... See how this knot looks. Um, haven't used this too many times. Probably talking about 20, 20 times, 25 times maybe. Gets in here. And uh, it just looks gorgeous. Splays out. Spreads out really nice. I like that. And uh, I will probably sell it. Because it's just a little too scrubby for me. Maybe it's too dense for me. And that's just not, you know, something that I'm looking for. But uh, the same maker... PGN, Golden Nib, the Golden Nib, uh, makes a, uh, another silver tip grade. This is a grade A, and they also make a premium. A premium I really enjoy. It's got a little bit more back, uh, less backbone than this, and it's not, uh, not scrubby. And I think that's going to be my preferred one from them. So, a uh, Mozingo handle with a Badger knot. All right, I'm done cleaning up. Great shave. Really happy with it. And uh, the nice thing that happened was when I put on the Old Spice, it left a little bit of the cooling sensation, but the scent was no longer the menthol. Um, turns out the um, tobacco and sandalwood scent, is that right? Yeah. Never really showed up. I, they did show up the tobacco in a small, small uh, way. However, basically to me, to my nose, this is a unscented soap with menthol in it. But it's a gorgeous jar. Performance is great. Maybe my only menthol soap right now. So I think I'll keep it around. Besides, if I can work through this and kill this jar, now I've got this awesome jar I can put a good soap in. All right, so this did great, um, uh, and I would guess any kind of alcohol splash uh, would do well to uh, to dispel the menthol a little bit. You still get the con uh, the cooling sensation; it's almost gone now, and uh, uh, and that's good. I like that. Uh, I don't know that even in hot weather I would go with a menthol soap, but I'll keep trying it out. You know, give it a fair shake, but. Uh, the scent of the Old Spice is here, and I like it. I think that's all. Um, Desert Island, if I had Crossroads soap from Paladin, um, yes, and this razor and this blade, the 16 uh, Aristocrat from the UK, uh, the 7 O'Clock 
black label from Gillette. Yes, very happy in terms of a desert island if I was stuck with that gear for 20 years. So there we go. All right, enough said. Time to go to sleep. You guys take care.